Right, we're back with uh, Simplicity Pattern 4923, which is the uh, adult pirate outfit. Um, as you can see, the shirt is pretty much finished. Uh, it took a lot of work, and I'm sure the next one I'll make, I'll find an easier way of doing it, especially on the sleeves and the, and the gathers. Um, as you can see there, all the, the hemline done. Now, if you're worried when this comes out that the front is actually shorter than the back, it's actually supposed to be like that. So, yeah, little slits there. I made a few mistakes on that. Let's pull that out of the way. Now, I've started cutting out the pattern for the waistcoat. Now, I've just used grey and blue polyester 50% cotton 50% polyester as you can see all the pattern pieces now this is I've done it extra small uh, colours are pretty much I think what they should be there's all the lining cut out ready to go now the only alterations I've made again they just show a flap on the pattern so I've actually made made a pocket. So I have a workable pocket, and then of course the flap it just covers covers everything. Well, I've never tackled anything like that before, so uh, it was a bit of a bit of a trauma. But as you can see, that's the pocket. And this was just made out of. You can see that. Two little pieces wider than the pocket and a bit of lining and then these go on there onto the waistcoat and what you do is you sew along here along here following the original stitch line and then you turn the whole thing over cut the back turn the pocket inside out and sew the pockets up. So pretty, pretty simple. But if you've never done one before, it's going to be a bit tricky, as I found out. And I did make some mistakes, as you can see. I've got some little gathers here. I messed up on the corner, so I'm going to unpick them and just redo them. Not that it matters because the slap, the uh, flat will will cover that anyway. So uh, when that's pressed out, it should be fine. But anyway, that's the waistcoat. The next stage is start pinning it all together right side to right side and uh, we'll get on to that next right here's the next stage right so we've got all the shoulder seams pinned together two sides now flip that over the line in all sewed together. Now the mistake I did, when you get carried away with your sewing, you must leave these sides open. So when you sew, you start at your mark where your where your V is, you sew all the way around the sleeve, all the way around the front, again to your mark leave that side open, start again round the neckline, all the way around to your mark, leave a gap, all the way around the armhole, back to your mark, stop, leave a gap, and then sew round the bottom and back again. And this is because you've got to turn it inside out, so I forgot and I've sewed up all around sides, I've got to unstitch that in a minute, and start again. Well, not start again, but just reinforce the stitching where I made a mistake. And the next stage is to flip it all inside out, which we'll get round to in a minute. Uh, what I didn't say yesterday was, when I first started taking all this on, I bought uh, a sewing machine out of Argus called a Beldre Model uh, 925 or something like that. And to be honest, it was absolutely rubbish. Uh, and from the reviews I've read uh, afterwards, 
I'm glad I took it back and exchanged it. Now this is the Argos value range, which to be honest was another five pound, and I'm glad I did it because this one says does exactly what it says on the box. Uh, it's a brilliant little machine, highly recommend it to anybody. So even for a beginner like me, it's easy to use, easy to thread, everything works on it. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, Argos. Right, back to the sewing. Alright, well there we go. That's the waistcoat all sewn together. Buttons on. And the buttonhole's done. All the way down. And the pockets. I don't think you can see that these buttons are plastic. Uh, very, very shiny. Uh, but they've got little anchors on it. I thought that was a nice little touch for a nautical theme. So, uh, as you can see, everything's sewn together. Lining. That's the front. I'll just flip that over. see that's the back now uh, I did add some little little tie flaps here and they'll just be bound up with some cord and just put some eyelets in there brass eyelets so it's pretty close to the original so they can tie up and there you go now of course no uh, self-respecting pirate will be seen dead in a brand new waistcoat so it needs a bit of dis distressing, and uh, we'll get onto that in a minute. But uh, pretty pleased with that. The only thing is, again, I made that made this one extra small, so uh, it only just fits me. Um, but not too bad because the uh, the buttons are never going to be done up anyway. Uh, and I would say that if you're going to use the buttonholes and you're going to cut the buttonholes, uh, make sure you do reinforce the buttons. Uh, I'm not very good at sewing buttons on, so uh, they are just there for really decorative purposes. But right, we'll get round to some serious distressing in a minute and make it look a bit worn. Right, now to make it look a bit old, I'm going to take a little bit of medium grade sandpaper. And what you want? It's a little bit of plain flour. Let's put that on there. Oh, yep. Way too much. And what we want to do, we just want to. What we're doing is roughing up the fibres slightly. directions check it up a bit As you can see, all we're doing here is just roughing the fibres up a little bit, making it a little bit worn. And uh, what you can do if you want a few tears in it, like Jack's waistcoat, you can get a cheese grater. Don't go mad at it, obviously, but uh, you just sort of like put a few nicks and tears in it where you want. To. But, but that's the. Uh, Get an idea to go with the fibres. Just shake that off. And all we're doing is just roughing it up a bit, making it look distressed. With the buttons, I'm just going to get some uh, sort of mixture of light 
grey paint and I'm just going to dry brush them.